Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jonathan Shanks to the stage. All righty. Thank you. Well, uh, yep, I am Jonathan Shikes, and I, I work for uh, Westward Newspaper, which is the, uh, the all-weekly in town. Uh, we are uh, more used to uh, the written word than the spoken word, which is why I needed a little bit of liquid courage tonight, and there's plenty of it. But I am here to talk about the dangers of craft beer drinking, in particular, big beers like bourbon barrel-aged stouts, barley wines, double IPAs, beers like that. Now, drunkenness is uh, the same thing, no matter whether you're drinking one of these from Odell, I think, or a 32-pack of Keystone Light, uh, you're still drunk. Your, uh, your body doesn't know the difference. Your brain doesn't know the difference. You may be a craft drinker, but your body has absolutely no idea. Some people uh, say to me, Jonathan, you should drink session beers. Those are beers that are 5% alcohol or less. That's a great idea, but I say bullshit to that. I want the big stuff, 11, 12 percent alcohol, bigger than my shoe size, which is 12, which is a size 12, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, uh, when I do drink big beers, I have a tendency to take up weird hobbies. Uh, I highfalutin hobbies, like the highfalutin beers I'm drinking. Gardening was one of them, but when you garden drunk, you run into, uh, into some problems. Those are some of them. Uh, some, other, some other things. In the old days, this was a, a perfect start to an evening. Uh, a big pepperoni pizza, a six-pack of uh, a Bud Ice. That was a great start. Yep. And, and the perfect end to an evening was here. Yeah. Extra hot sauce, a seven-layer burrito... Uh, a couple of gorditas, so delicious. Um, now that uh, we're drinking craft beers, though, this is the perfect start to an evening. Uh, your Belgian Saison and your aged Gruyere or Camembert or, uh, or other delicious cheese. And the perfect ending to a night like this, now that we drink craft beers, is, is the same thing. Because we're all human and, uh, and Taco Bell is awesome. So I don't care. I don't care if, it's, if I'm drinking good beers or not. Give me another gordita with some sour cream. Uh, now this is, what we, uh, this is what we dream about when we go to bed, when, when we're younger, right? Hard bodies. There's a lot of skin. Uh, a lot of skin there. They're pretty awesome. You know you have a crush on them. Don't, don't deny it. But this is what we think about now when we go to bed, right? Other beer geeks, right? Oh, that's our fantasy right there. That's the beer wench, right, on the left. And there's Greg with the, with the Greg face, right? That's pure hotness. Uh, so here's a few other tips uh, and a few other things uh, about, about drinking uh, and some, some tips that I have about being out in the town, about uh, social media, uh, and about home brewing. Well, yeah, and sort of. First of all, leave me alone when, I, when I'm in the bathroom. Uh, don't talk to me. Wait till after we get out, please. Also, if you can leave one urinal in between us, I would appreciate it. Um, now, girls, same deal for you. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what a girl's bathroom looks like. I've never been in one. But I assume this is what it looks like. But if I'm, if I'm wrong, tell me because I, I really, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. So sorry if I got that, that picture wrong. Um, Home brewing. Now, in his uh, in his book um, about home brewing, Charlie Papazian told us to uh, to relax. Don't worry. Have a home brew. He didn't say to have six home brews, which is what I do, and it makes it very difficult to operate one of these fucking things. A hydrometer. I, I get the thing wrong. I can't I can't read it even when I'm sober. I screw up every one of my beers. They taste like vinegar. I hate that thing. All right, in, in the old days when you would drink and you would want to embarrass yourself, you would call up your, the girl who you really liked and be like, hey, I really like you, I just wanted to let you know. But things have changed and it's become, uh, it's become much easier. Now you can get on there and, oh, baby, I love you. Oh, Jesus, so embarrassing. I can't believe that happens. 
Such a terrible mistake. I thought it was a private message. But uh, in conclusion, watch your ABVs when you are drinking. Otherwise, you will end up like me, which is demented, aged, and confused. Thanks.